compared to this big army on the map, which is pushing up right now. Uh, no upgrades for either player yet. Uh, probably the, the dragoons have range, but no, no armor or weapon upgrades. He's just lost part of his wall here. He's probably going to lose both these cannons. And he really doesn't he really doesn't have enough units out right now. And the Zerg player has a major macro advantage here. And I don't e again, I don't even know if the, the Protoss player is aware of this third expansion. And he's gonna lose his upgrades. Bro harsh. Harsh! And there's a swarm of uh, hydras coming up. So this is not looking good for my my team. Dalhousie. Uh, if they lose this game, this is going to make them tied uh, for records with uh, with Mount Allison. If he loses his Nexus, this will be brutal. What's he trying to get? What? Okay, he's going to try to repel this with Dark Templars. He's got a few gateways there that aren't even producing. There is no overlords in the area, so that will help. But still, that this is going to be hard. So now, definitely the uh, I'm going to speed it up because now there's def a definite, definite advantage for the the Zerg player. If there wasn't before, there really is now because it's going to take whatever time it's going to take to to rebuild that nexus. Meanwhile, the Zerg player has pretty good saturation in. Well, that's not great saturation, but he does have drones going in three bases here. He looks like he's building most of his tech buildings um, in his uh, natural expansion here. In fact, he hasn't gotten a lot of tech buildings. He's been mostly uh, lair tech with this, uh, and now he's going to get Polar Lurkers out, and he's evolving. He's upgrading his overlords more, but. Uh, Storm out. This is good if he if he if he manages it well. Um, does he have it yet? We're not sure here. But it's looking pretty bleak for uh, for our, our team here. No, Protoss. Okay, go. Get him. Get the <laughs> Hydras. Okay, storm. That was a really good storm. And we're gonna, he's actually going to be able to repel this. Is that a drop, or is this just uh, this is just overlords trying to find out what's going on? Uh, he stopped pumping. Look at all this money that he's not using. He stopped pumping Corsairs, and he really needs to. There's a couple free kills there. Look at that. Look at all that versus anyway. He missed his chance. As you can see, I'm very. Uh, Downheartened by uh, the way this match is going, but uh, this this is the way things go. Actually, the stats are all posted online for these CMS matches, so I did actually know that uh, <laughs> I do actually know who's going to win this. But but uh, you know, all right, I'm going to speed it up because there's not much to come in. It's looking like the Zerg is just going to mass critical numbers. Do they have no no upgrades? And it's just going to be a question of how long the Protoss kind of goes before he's willing to admit that he doesn't have the economy. And that's what it's really coming down to. The, uh, the Zerg have the superior economy. Not only does the Zerg have the superior economy, but the Protoss economy is about to end, and that's just going to be that's just going to be the death now. So even if he even if he manages to hold off two or three more swarms, there's still going to be the the fact that uh, the Zerg player is sitting on all these extra resources, and this mineral field is just about out. So not not the exciting game I was hoping for to to finish out the series. But uh, what can you do? Oh, he's going to try to expand here. Ha, 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 ha. Too little, too late. Wow, the Zerg player must have anticipated that. And, and look at this. The Zerg player is just going, this is, this is not, well, 
It's been over for a while, but now it's really over. Cause, and there comes the GG. So that's the end of the series. Mount Allison takes it, tying up the record for these two teams in the series. Whoops.